two trees on a hillside by a cabin always looking up toward the sky remind me of my papa and my mama lived there 80 years before they died and I'm a bright moon is hanging in the valley that old wagon leans against a stack of hay two graves on a hillside by a cabin my mom and dad are resting there today All right, well, uh, I just wanted to introduce uh, one of the meanings of the word, of the, of the title, Out of the Blue. One of the meanings of the word blue, or one of the references I am intending with the use of the word blue, is uh, the so-called blue chakra, which is your throat chakra. Because um, a lot of this, what I talk about neo-Swedenborgianistically, is... Uh, something of a self-observation technique because you are the 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 idea is that you the whole near-death experience is a person turning and going into their own psyche or into their own mind and if that's the case well then you want to acquaint yourself with your own psyche and or your own mind and uh when i started to sing when i learned how to sing or you know i'm still learning but when i first started to sing I was extremely shy about it and uh and in now I'm not any kind of yogi of course but in uh the yogic tradition there's these chakras and there's a blue throat chakra and they say that emotional memories get stored in your chakras and that's about all I'm going to say about it except for the fact that in my own journey I, in learning to sing, all kinds of memories and feelings and emotions and things I didn't even know were there came up. So it became like an extremely emotional journey. Uh, and um, that's kind of the journey we're on here together now. Oh. So one of the things I hope to do is to get people uh, singing a little bit. And the most basic skill is something that you can practice quietly and privately. And I know this because I was too shy to even practice loudly. But the most basic skill is holding a steady note. Oh. Uh, and then, because if you can hold a steady note and another person can hold a steady note, then you can blend those two notes like... Oh. Um, and I don't want to get too far down this path in just this one episode, but uh, this opening up your throat and singing and being comfortable singing is, uh, for me, was at least a very emotional journey. Um, and so uh, I expect it probably would be for everyone, especially when you do this in when you're an adult. It might be different if you learn as a child. I don't know. Anyway... Who wants to come over and sing? That's what I'm wondering now. Thanks. See ya.